Okay, this was our day number 12 of the $300,000 profit goal for 2024 uh, with probably 3 million sales on Amazon and 500,000 sales on Walmart. Although as far as this is going, I would not be disappointed if we only do 2.5 million on Amazon and 1 million on Walmart because... Walmart is kicking butt. Uh, last night I was looking at some of the stuff we sold yesterday, and there was some items that we're buying for like fifteen dollars or twenty dollars, and we're selling them for fifty. They're, they sell for thirty on Amazon. We're making an extra twenty dollars. Well, fees so an extra fifteen dollars a piece just because we're selling on Walmart. Mind boggling. It, I mean, it is crazy. You're going to hear me talk about Walmart a ton this year if this keeps up. Um, so I started the day, work day, about 1020. I cleaned out the van of some, some of the residual products from the night before um, and put in some boxes, although I didn't use the boxes I should have. Uh, boxes when you fill the van full of stuff at um, retail. Uh, but I didn't, I just threw them in there. Uh, and then I met with the prep center. I traveled to the prep center and met with the prep center, got some items that were no longer able to sell um, and some items that um, they just didn't have a listing. Basically we bought a case of four and they all had four different items, but the other three items made up enough money that we could just throw away or donate the fourth item. So I went and got the fourth item. So they no longer have it at the prep center. Uh, we ate dinner, talked about the plans for, or lunch, talked about the plans for 2024. And then I went and got my wife some treats, uh, which is not part of work. And then at 3.50 or so, I finished that and traveled to the first Walmart. Between 3.50 and 10.12, I hit three Walmarts. The first Walmart was about an hour long. Uh, my phone battery was almost dead. It was uh, down to like 15%. Uh, I forgot the power banks at home. My wife called me on my way to the prep center and I was like, oh, dang. So the first Walmart, I went ahead and purchased a um, small, like $10 power bank for the next two stores. That $10 easily paid for itself, as we'll discuss. Uh, and then the we spent about twelve to $1,300 in the first store. So something I found is without April shopping with me, I rush. I always feel like I'm taking too much long. So I really rush. And I actually, my hour per, my spend per hour actually goes up, but I spend less in a store. So that first store, I was there for an hour and spent like 1200 or 1300 somewhere. It was between 12 and 1300 Traveled 30 minutes or 40 minutes to the next door. Uh, I was there for a little over an hour, uh, maybe an hour and 15 minutes or so. And then I uh, spent about 1500 That was a pretty good store, but still not what we've been buying. But I think that's because I sourced it in an hour and a half. And normally when April and I go, we source for like two, two and a half hours. So that's like four hours of manpower actually sourcing it. Uh, where I'm sourcing it in like an hour and a half of manpower. So, I mean, I guess, I guess that's better hour, hourly wise. Uh, and then I traveled 30 minutes or so to the next store. And I was at the next, this store for like an hour and a half to two hours. I only spent 1.5 million uh, or 1.5 million, 1.5 thousand. Um, but it was really good stuff. So I was talking to the lady, the Walmart person that was cleaning up the clearance aisle. And she said that they got $3,000 to mark down toys last week. Uh, so she just 
was trying to get rid of them. There was some $10 toys that were previously marked down for to $2. And they were at $2 for like a week and a half, two weeks, and nobody was buying them. So she marked them down to a dollar. And I bought like between 50 and 75 of them. It was like two and a half cases. I don't know how much is in each case. It was a lot. Um, I even asked him, like, do you want me to save any of that stuff for anybody else? She's like, nope, I want you. I want it all gone. I want you to take it all. So I ended up having like three and a half carts out of there, even though it was only $1,500. Uh, but we should make at least 100, probably closer to 200% ROI on that full $1,500 transaction. Because when you spend, we'll say in the middle, like $60 to make $250 profit, uh, you can easily get with the other remaining $1,440, you're going to get quite a bit. And there's a lot more of those that were clearance too. That that was just one item and there was one, two, three, four, four items that were like between 75 and 90% marked down. Uh, so that was really good. That is why I always talk about RA uh, and why if you're willing to travel to a couple Walmarts, why RA is so much better. I have the product. I'll ship it tomorrow and I'm going to get 100, 200 percent on a lot of this stuff. And if I today I spent. Um, Forty four hundred and fifty five dollars on RA and let's say that 60% ROI at minimum it's going to be at minimum with the stuff I was buying today uh, that's $2,400 profit before our overhead uh, so I worked 12 hours but I actually only sourced this is wrong this is sourced RA not OA source or RA I only sourced seven and a half hours to make, what did I say, $2,400? But it will take maybe three hours of prep work tomorrow with, uh, so 10 hours to make 2,400. There's not many people that I know that's making $200 an hour. Uh, yeah, RA is crazy. Um, especially if, you find a store that's either well stocked or a store that's uh, has some stuff that's on clearance. Now, that's the issue we're running into right now, especially at the first couple stores. They weren't as stocked as previously, uh, but it was just me not sourcing them super long either. Uh, so it is kind of a combination of both. And then uh, some of this stuff is going to Walmart. Some of it's going to Amazon. Uh, and I think that's it. Oh, the break here is I ate dinner and then I traveled home. On the way home, since it's sourcing, I travel, I counted that as sourcing. I need to switch this to RA. Uh, but on the way to the prep center, I counted that as prep center uh, meeting uh, because I probably wouldn't have went to Springfield if uh, it wasn't for the prep center. Uh, but I always have probably I always have basically an hour drive on the way home, no matter where I go to on Walmart. And that's just one of our local like two that we hit weekly. So. Overall, pretty good day. Um, this has gotten our RA for the week up to $7,200. Uh, I placed that order, that $2,600 order, and like twelve, just under $12,000 is going to be shipped. Hopefully tomorrow I've got to go to the bank and wire the money. Uh, and then... Once they receive that, then they'll ship it out it's normally same day. And it should arrive in like two to three business days after that. So we should get that early next week. Uh, so that will hopefully get us closer to the $30,000 for 
for this weekly spending. I've got to send the Excel list of the wholesaler inventory list to our virtual employees so they can um, see it, shop it, see if they find anything for that. I'll also have them shop it for Walmart because Walmart right now is killing it. Uh, and there's our updated sales for January 1st. We actually sold a couple hundred dollars more, I believe. Walmart was a little bit more. And then uh, today is already better than yesterday. Uh, and I put the comment that the prep center meeting is what took a good portion of my time because if it looks like I didn't spend 12 hours in here because um, I didn't get much stuff accomplished, at least by what I track. So other than that, tomorrow is prep, chill at the house, but heavy prep and process. Hopefully get most of this stuff uh, boxed up and ready to ship tomorrow. Uh, and then hopefully I'll have some VA fines or virtual employee fines for me tomorrow evening that I can start purchasing. So we keep getting that inventory coming in. Uh, hopefully place another wholesale order from the wholesale, same wholesaler later this week or early next week. Uh, once she finishes that, then I will have her source the two other wholesalers that we typically buy from uh, for me to place orders from them next week. Uh, and then it's gonna be a real challenge spending $30,000 a week on inventory. There's some sellers that do hundreds of thousands of dollars spend a week, but that's a big jump for us. But we will figure it out. I hope you guys have some ambitious goals and you're two days into accomplishing them. Uh, whether that be reselling or a different business or just personal health or whatever. Uh, I've been trying to do health too. And I track zone minutes, my Fitbit track zone minutes. And I got like 69 zone minutes today just because I've been a, was a one thing. So I was like not running, but walking quickly back and forth between putting stuff on the little conveyor belt and then taking the bags and putting in the cart and back and forth. And it was definitely uh, surprisingly, but it was zone minutes. Just got my heart rate up to 110. I think is about where the thing is. So that's one thing I am tracking on this year too. I've been, I was doing pretty good in 2021, 2022. 2022, I was doing pretty good with that type of stuff. And in 2023, it's just kind of fallen by the wayside. So I got to get back onto it. On that, as well as YouTube and accountability for Amazon. And Walmart, growing those. And then another business adventure I'll talk about hopefully in the next couple of weeks once it gets started. So we got a busy, busy, busy year. And hope you guys uh, are doing well on your year so far. Two days in, 363 to go. So have a good day.